Hey guys, it's Tamman Darn Love, and welcome to the 2020 NFL season predictions. Last episode we did week 8, today we'll be doing week 9, but before we jump into week 9, let's recap week 8. This was definitely one of my worst performances in terms of predictions. Um, I went 8 and 6 in this one, I got a lot of them incorrect. So looking at the AFC side, we had the Bengals upset against the Titans, I did not see that. The Bills and Raiders did both win two defensive games. We also had the Chiefs win, got that one. Um, the Steelers did beat the Ravens, but the Broncos, Drew Locke with a nice comeback at the end to beat the Chargers. I got both of these AFC versus NFC predictions incorrect. Miami's defense stepped up and won, and the Colts um, had a nice game. Uh, the Falcons did beat the Panthers at Carolina, and the Vikings surprisingly beat Green Bay. But besides that, um, the Saints beat the Bears, the Seahawks beat San Fran, Philly, and Tampa Bay both won. Overall, a solid week of football, um, but we move on to week nine, which is one of my most anticipated weeks of the season, because not only are there great matchups and storylines, but we have a ton of AFC versus NFC games. We have, I think, the most we've had all season. But let's begin on NFC. We have the Thursday night game between the Packers and 49ers. Um, my prayers and good thoughts go to the 49ers. Um organization and players, just all the injuries they've dealt with. I think the Packers win this one by a good margin. The 49ers just have a ton of injuries. Aaron Rodgers, after a loss, performs well. I think against this defense that's injured. You know, the Packers have injuries too, but I think they'll win. Um, would it shock me if the Niners won? No, it did not. I mean, these two teams played last year twice in the regular season and in the NFC Championship, both at San Francisco. Both times the Niners won, so it would not surprise me. Giants-Washington, I'm going with Washington. Um, I just like this team a bit more defensively, and Kyle Allen and this offense have impressed me. I'm going with Washington for a win here in this NFC East game. Uh, I'm going with the Lions here against the Vikings. Um, I know that all signs points to Minnesota, but this is one of just my gut-feeling upset games. Hey, the Vikings are probably going to win. They have Dalvin Cook. He's been spectacular. But I don't know. The Lions have been looking better. You know they lost to the Colts. I don't know. I just like Detroit in this matchup. I do think both of these division games will be close. And that's why I'm going with Detroit because it is a division game in the NFC North. In division games, you just never know. One, I think that could be crazy, is this other division game. Drew Brees and the Saints versus Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I saw a stat that said these are, this is the battle of the um, passing leaders, all-time passing leaders, Brady and Brees. They have accomplished a lot in their careers, respectively. I'm going to go with Tom Brady in the Buccaneers at home. I don't know if Antonio Brown is playing, even if he doesn't. I love this Buccaneers defense. It's probably my favorite in the NFL. I think the Steelers are better, but the Buccaneers defense is so fun to watch. This Buccaneers offense is in its groove. I like the Saints a bit, but I think they have the pieces at linebacker to take care of Alvin Kamara. I like Breeze, but I think this Buccaneers team matches up really well. I think the Buccaneers win about 35-20. I think it'll be close, but then Tampa Bay will kind of just zoom to a win. Alrighty, this Seahawks-Bills game is definitely going to be a really fun one here in these AFC versus NFC games. If you had told me this week three or four, I would have been super excited. Russell Wilson versus Josh Allen, these two MVP candidates. Since then, Russell Wilson has pulled away significantly as the MVP leader. And I'm going with Seattle. It's interesting. These past couple weeks, we've seen a lot more of this Bills defense. And I know that the Seahawks defense isn't great, but I just like Seattle more in this situation. I think this will be a very back-and-forth game in the 30s, maybe the 40s. I think it'll be a last possession thing where it's either Russell Wilson driving down the field throwing a last-second touchdown or Josh Allen driving down the field and the Seattle defense makes a big play. I think it'll be a lot like the Seahawks-Patriots game and the Bills-Rams game earlier we saw this season. I think this will be a really entertaining one. I just trust Russell Wilson more, and that's kind of where I'm just going with this game. Panthers-Chiefs. Um, Panthers offense is fun, but ultimately, I think this game does go to the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, they just look fantastic. The way that they play, like, the Chiefs are just a team that seems like they automatically get a win. This season, Mahomes' this offense, they're just incredible. Um, this Carolina defense is very young, and I think they'll struggle with this Chiefs offense. I think that's a really 
a big mismatch. This is a good KC all line. I have the Chiefs winning about 45-20. Um, that's kind of my prediction for this game. So I think the Panthers, I don't think it'll be a blowout. I don't think it'll be the Chiefs running away with it. I think Carolina will make some nice plays. Teddy Bridgewater, Robbie Anderson. Um, but I think the Chiefs win. Even if Christian McCaffrey is back healthy, which I hope he is, I, I'm still picking the Chiefs. And if so, you have McCaffrey and Mahomes, two great offensive players. Broncos, Falcons. I'm going with the Falcons here. Um, I was just not impressed with Denver last week, midway through the game. Now, yes, I know they came back and won, but I just think they have a lot of pieces missing. Um, for me, I'm not a fan of Drew Locke. I'm not like, he has just so much potential, but I don't think he's the worst quarterback ever. I'm in between. I think there's moments where you see his high, high upside. There's moments where, like, yeah, he can start in this league. I just haven't seen enough. I trust more of the veterans here with Matt Ryan and Julio Jones. I think this will be a very, kind of just one of those games that's like, oh, it happened. You know, my mom and I always talk about this. One game every NFL Sunday, like, oh, that game happened. Like, you don't hear that much about it. I think this Broncos-Falcons game will be this week's. Well, it's just be like the mo most interesting game. I would love for it to be interesting. I just don't think it will be. There's Titans here. Um, I'm going with Tennessee. I like Nick Foles. I want to preface that because this Bears offense looks terrible. Against the Saints defense last week, which is not particularly the best in the NFL, Nick Foles looked bad. He looked off. I know the Titans lost, but I think they'll bounce back here. Derrick Henry will be fun to see going against the Chicago defense and how does Tennessee use that. But even though the Bears have Khalil Mack, I just am going with um, the Titans and this offense. I think they'll... Um, bounce back on track. I think this could be a potential shutout game. Um, I think the Titans could dominate. All right, guys. Tan Man's upset. Uh, er, okay, everyone. Tan Man's upset of the week here. I'm picking the Dolphins against the Cardinals. Yes, I think Miami goes into Arizona and wins. I know that's a very bold prediction. But the Dolphins are playing fantastic. Their defense especially looks incredible. The What they did against the Rams and I just think that, you know, Tua Tagovailoa in his second start, he just got that feel of that first game. Not that much, you know, he didn't get that many much action offensively, but I think that was almost good. Okay, kind of analyze the game and stuff. So I think he'll be more prepared against the Cardinals defense, which has some talent. I think on paper, the Cardinals are better. If we were saying who is the better team, I would be going for the Cardinals. But for me, as a prediction, I'm going with Miami. I just think they have looked um, really good here these past couple weeks. So I'm going to go with the Dolphins for this game. So that will be my prediction here. So that is, I know that's kind of the upset I'm going with. But next up we have the Steelers. I think they'll dominate the Cowboys. Um, the Cowboys are just a mess, in all honesty. I'm sorry, Cowboys fans, but... I hope Andy Dalton, and I, I pray for Dak Prescott. It's unfortunate, because I was really looking forward to this game. I think this could have been a really fun game, but unfortunately, injur injuries happen. It happened to Pittsburgh last year. I think the Steelers go into Dallas, and I think Pittsburgh dominates the Cowboys. I could see this like 45-10. So that is my predictions here for the AFC-NFC column. Um, I'm going to go with the Colts here. The kind of history of the Ravens, them packing up and moving. Some fun history here with these two teams i'm going with yeah the colts i just really like this defense and i think frank reich is a coach and the colts have their defensive playmakers like darius leonard deforest buckner to handle lamar jackson who lost to pittsburgh and didn't look that great i also think the colts offensive line is one of the best you can neutralize that ravens pass rush and i think they'll give rivers time to throw i think think this will be a very close game if i had to predict Maybe like 24, 21, 26, 23. I could see the Ravens winning, but I think they get their third loss against Indy. Um, Houston, I think, will be the Jaguars. The Jaguars are saying Jake Lawton, I think, some rookie. I think Minshew's injured. I hope he gets better. Prayers up for him. But I just really like Deshaun Watson against his Jaguars defense. So I, I think this will be another potential blowout. I'm going to lift the Raiders here against the Chargers. Las Vegas, Los Angeles. I like Justin Herbert a lot. He played very well against the Broncos, but he's going to make those mistakes. You know, that's just kind of how being a rookie goes in the NFL. And I just think that the Raiders look great. Their defense looked good. 
They're running the ball well. And Derek Carr doesn't make that many mistakes. So I'm going with the Raiders on this one. I think hopefully it'll be a fun game. And then Monday night, I think the Patriots will win against the Jets. I think the winner of this game can honestly be like 9-3. to um, I just trust Bill Belichick's defense more. And, you know, the Jets are just yikes. I will say this, though, because, you know, the Jets hung in their bit with the Chiefs in the first half. Like, Sam Darnold completed some nice pass to Denzel Mims. Like, I don't think this game will be complete blowout. It could be, but I just don't see that happening. So, everyone, that is my predictions here. Going with some upsets, I'll say my upsets are Dolphins against the Cardinals. And I guess you could count the Colts as an upset. Most people picking Baltimore. Should be a lot of fun games. Really excited for this week. I think we'll know a lot here, especially with some of these outer conference games. Um, kind of how teams do against teams they usually don't play. That's always a fun test. In terms of my fantasy leagues here, um, so I won last week. For this one, I'm 4-4. Four four. I'm second in our little East division there. Um, so Big Ben, I feel good about that. Devin Singletary, okay. DeAndre Swift. Um, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh, yeah, I had Dalvin Cook on the bench. He said it was questionable. Yeah, that was a bit of a yikes. Um, Antonio Gibson, actually. He's a running back. Okay, I thought he was a wide receiver. Uh, let's go DJ Chark. I think the Texans will win. I'm not a huge fan of that um, defense, though, that Houston has. So we'll do DJ Chark. I'll get a defense. I'll do that off camera. So Big Ben, Devin Singletary, Dalvin Cook, Trace Claypool. I really hope that the Steelers have a good game. I, I think they could. And then I think if Cook and Singletary run well, Bill's starting to run the ball a bit more. So I feel confident Ryan suck up. Could make some clutch kicks if that game is close, which I think it will be the more I think about it. Still going with Tampa Bay. And in this other league, I lost by eight points. I'm just not really getting these big wins. Justin Herbert did um, pan out pretty well for me. T. Higgins. I might have to do some moves off screen. Well, I'll go Justin Jefferson. Um, and then I just need to get a defense. We have Mike Davis, some Panthers here. Julio, Justin Jefferson, Johnny Smith, Robbie Anderson. I might... Actually, I'm going to start James Robinson instead of Mike Davis. Actually, I'm going to do this for now. And if Chris Carson can play, I'll replace Mike Davis. He's done well, but I just really... Like, these are very stable players. I just need to get some more high upside. I'm probably... I'm going to get a new defense, too. I'll do that off screen. Anyways, all y'all, that'll do it here for this episode of NFL Predictions. I'll see you next time for Week 10. Can't believe we are here. Until then, take care. And have a good one. Bye-bye.